Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a top 10. All right, so today we're gonna look at the top decks uh, that fit the SW Erdnays theme. You know, right now, people are talking about Expert at the Card Table, and that's great. It's great that people are talking about that. It's a great book. It's a very advanced book. Uh, if you're a beginner in card magic, uh, you're just starting out, even if you've only been doing this for a couple of months, if magicians are trying to cram Expert at the Card Table down your throat, don't listen. There are easier books out there. Please don't start with this book. It's very advanced. You probably need to have uh, quite a bit of skill before you're gonna be able to do some of the moves in this. Of course, people People always talk about it like it's the end-all end-all and uh, like I said in my other video people rush out and buy it because they hear it's the best but it's a very difficult book both in moves and in language just in reading it there are not even a lot of pictures in it so like again like I said it's an advanced book uh, just know that going in but there are a lot of decks of cards Okay, a lot of decks of cards that have been devoted to this theme of SW Erdnays and the expert at the card table. So I thought we'd look at a couple of those right now. All right, coming in at number seven. Number seven, I thought you said this was a top 10. Well, yeah, it is a top 10, but I only have seven of these decks, so it's really a top seven. Okay, then why don't you just call it a top seven at the beginning? Why'd you call it a top 10? Because nobody searches YouTube for top seven lists. Everyone searches for top 10. So it's gotta be a top 10. But you just said you only have seven decks. Shut up, you. Coming in at number seven, the Madison Dealers. All right, so this is not really an Erdnays deck. It's not, it doesn't have an Erdnays theme, but it was released as being printed in Erdnays green. Okay, Madison uh, released this along with Illusionist and said this was an Erdnays color, okay? But there really isn't anything else Erdnays besides that, but thought it was worth a mention. It does have a casino deck back, which means the image goes all the way to the edges. So it makes it a really good deck for the moves that would be in the expert at the card table. So it has more of a gambling feel. And these are marked cards. It does have Madison Quartz, a double backer, dead crow jokers, and an ad card. Number six, the Smith back from Conjuring Arts Research Center. The back design on this is a repeated illustration from the book. So it's one of the, it's one of the figures and it's just repeated multiple times to make it appear uh, to have a uh, casino back. It does have very vintage looking courts, which is cool. And the ad card, uh, both of them are a little bit more about the book. So it kind of does introduce you to the book. And then the jokers are supposedly Erdnays sitting at his table. Number five, the Erdnasium deck from Conjuring Arts Research Center and Dan and Dave. All right, this was a collaboration between these two groups and uh, Bill Kalush from Conjuring Arts Research Center was kind of like the, the spearhead behind this and it was created for the Erdnasium event that was held in Montana uh, back in August of 2011. Now the back design logo is an ambigram of SW Erdnase, which means uh, it looks like SW Erdnase uh, one direction, but if you flip the card over, you'll see that it spells out W-E Sanders, which is a possible candidate uh, for who Erdnase might have been. The overall back design is commonly referred to as the B worm back, uh, and it does have traditional B faces with vintage courts. Number four, the SWE deck from Daniel Madison and Illusionist.com. All right, so this is a typical Madison Illusionist collaboration. The box design is all done in the Erdnays green and it has a lot of cool Erdnays graphics. It has have Madison quartz, which you would expect from a Madison deck. Comes with a double backer. Uh, the jokers are from figure number 25, which is in the book. The ace of spades uh, is nice and big and it has text from the book um, in, in, the, in the shadow of it, and it comes with a dealer's card. Number three, the 1902 Green Acorn deck from Conjuring Arts Research Center. This is a cool addition of the Erdnays playing card series because it has white borders and it has a green acorn back design that was designed by Guy Hollingworth. Uh, it does have vintage quartz. Uh, the ad cards do contain the about the book cards. And again, you're gonna see the Erdnays at the table jokers. It's printed on exclusive B casino stock and it has magic finish and it does have a traditional cut, which uh, people that do table pharaohs and a lot of the moves an expert at the card table would appreciate. Number two, the Erdnays 216 deck from Conjuring Arts Research Center. 
with this deck, this was a really cool project because they were trying to reproduce a century-old bee design that's believed to be the possible deck that served as the artist model and what the illustrator used when he drew the original book. So it's due to the similarity in appearance between what the book sketches look like and the deck's back design. So using those two things, uh, Conjuring Arts designed this uh, deck to hopefully um, recreate a deck that maybe never even existed. So it's possible, we don't know. Uh, it does have full B faces, B ace of spades, and the paper stock is incredibly, incredibly thin, and I don't even know if they've ever made a deck that felt like this or handles like this ever again. And number one, the Magic Apple Expert at the Card Table deck. This deck is the original Erdnase deck, and that's why we're putting it at number one. This was designed as a collaboration between the Magic Apple and Dan and Dave. Uh, there's two versions of this deck. Um, the box looks exactly like the book. It's meant to look like the book from the sides of the cover. It has a casino diamond back design with a uh, poker border. And again, you're going to see the acorn jokers, the acorn ace of spades. You're going to get two ad cards, and the two ad cards, again, uh, are trying to make it look like the book. Like if you were going to turn the pages of the cards, the two ad cards would be the front page of the book and the preface of the book. So it's really cool and it's probably my favorite expert at the card table deck. All right, so there you have it, my top 10. All right, so there you have it, my top seven Erdnay's decks and uh, just a little bit of a closer look about them. I'll stick all their past reviews that I've done for this in the description below and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.